Hello everyone. Welcome to Charan Maths classes. So today I am with the third part of sequences and series in IIT Mathematics concept course. Today we are about to discuss about properties of AP and about arithmetic mean. First we'll start with properties of AP. The first one if each term of an AP is increased, decreased, multiplied or divided by the sum non zero number then the resulting sequence is also an ap i'll give you an example for this for example 2 4 6 8 10 so on now if i'm adding some number like uh, if i have any three here it's five here if i'm adding three here it's seven here nine eleven thirteen what will be taking so if if i add some same number throughout the series then the resulting uh, sequence is also in AP, right? See, common difference is 2 here. 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. So the common difference is 2 here. If I subtract also, uh, here if I'm subtracting 2 from it, I'll be getting 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So this is also an AP with common difference to all itself. So, we can infer from this that if we add or subtract the same number throughout the series, then the resulting uh, will also be an AP. Only if we add to an AP. We can even multiply. If I'm multiplying 2, we get, we'll be getting 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. This is also an AP, right? With common difference 4 in this case. If I divide by 2 also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, still so on. So this is also an AP with common difference 1. So this shows that if we add, subtract, multiply or divide a fixed number, in an AP, then the resulting sequence, the resulting sequence will also be an AP itself. That, that's what the first uh, property says. Now, uh, uh, previously I already told you in my first video, the general, general representation of an AP. Right? I already told, told you the general representation of an AP. Like, uh, a A plus D A plus 2D so on till A plus N minus 1 into D so this is the general representation but while we are doing calculations and we don't know what's the first term, what's the common difference, we need to write in a generalized way. But we cannot use this. Even if, even though if we use it, this, uh, the calculations will get a bit more complex. So, first, in that case, we'll use these cases. If three numbers are in AP, we'll get, uh, use this general generalization. That is A minus D, A, A plus D. This also represents an AP itself, right? A minus D, A, A plus D. If four numbers are in AP, then A minus 3D, A minus D, A plus D, A plus 3D. If five numbers are in AP, A minus 2D, A minus D, A, A plus D, A plus 2D. If six numbers are in AP, A minus 5D, A minus 3D, A minus D, A plus D, A plus 3D, A plus 5D. You can take a screenshot if you want. Uh, while doing complex calculations, this will, this will be useful. If we use this, the calculation may get a bit more complex. 
but if we use this generalized equations then these will get cancelled if you notice these will get cancelled here here minus 3d plus 3d and minus d plus d will get cancelled so we'll have only a's then we can find individually the value of a and d then it will be more easier for us to uh, perform big calculations so this you you can remember in mind third one is the common difference can be zero positive or negative as i told you already this is already known to you the common difference as i told you can be anything zero positive negative any real number it can be any real number if it can be zero because one 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 this is also an ap because it has common difference zero so this is also an ap and it can be positive or negative as you know if we subtract something then we are adding its inverse only right so that in that case the common difference is negative for example 8 6 4 to 0 here the common difference is minus 2 we are adding minus 2 right that's why here the common difference is minus 2 itself so this is the third one now this one formula you can remember which is kth term from the last is n minus k plus first term from the beginning now if i am giving an example if you take example the concept will be very clear right so if i am taking an example 2 and so on now kth term from last kth term from the last let it be 12 this is the third term from last right this is the third term from last from starting it's the sixth term right it's the sixth term so how can we just relate them the formula is given as n minus k plus 1 term right so their n here means the total number of terms n minus k plus 1 term from the starting so if we compute this we should get 6 right let's check it out there are total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 terms here right so i'm taking here nth term means 8 terms here and the it's third term from last here it's kth term from last so k is 3 here 8 minus 3 plus 1 right how what will be getting here we will be getting here 6 right we got so it's sixth term from the starting so while if i take an example this concept is very clear to you right if someone just uh, reads of the sentence like that then it will not be understandable for you but i took an example so that your concept is very clear i hope you understand understood this properties of ap you can take screenshot if you want this will be very important while doing calculations so yeah now we are into the second topic of today arithmetic mean arithmetic mean what is arithmetic mean if a b c are in ap then b is called arithmetic mean of ac you may have understood that but still i am giving you an example there is an ap with th three terms three Six, nine. Here, six is called the arithmetic mean of three and nine. They took in generalized way. If A, B, C are any, B is called arithmetic mean of A, C. Here, we should consider three as A, nine as C, and six as B. So, six is called the arithmetic mean. And if you know statistics, then you can you you will say that. 
formula of arithmetic mean is number of observations by sum of observations right so here sum of observations by number of observations sorry here this the number of observ sum of observations is 3 plus 9 itself so 3 plus 9 by here there are 2 right so 2 is 6 itself so we can also infer from this that if there are some n terms between any two uh, terms in an AP then we can call them as arithmetic means so maths is just correlating other concepts with this uh, different concepts so maths is very beautiful you need to understand that that's what they have mentioned here the arithmetic mean of two numbers a and b is a plus b by 2 and in similar way if there are three numbers then it's a plus b plus c by 3 if you know stat is 6 then no need to memorize these all actually if you don't i'll try to make a video on that in the future so this is an important formula that is if a1 a2 a3 a n are n numbers then arithmetic mean of these numbers is we can find the arithmetic mean of any numbers using this formula i'll show you an example here. For example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Here there are 5 terms, right? So they give n terms, we are taking n value of uh, 5. Then they are asking us the arithmetic mean. What's the arithmetic mean of these numbers? We can just use the formula 1 by n into sum of all the terms so we can use this 1 by 5 into 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 10 22 22 plus 8 30 so the automatic mean of number 5 under 5 5 6 are 30 so 6 is the arithmetic mean of all these numbers and you can see from this also so this formula is also clear for you i guess and the last point is if a a1 a2 an b are ap then a1 a2 an are called arithmetic means see here a1 a2 an are between a and b so they are arithmetic means obviously right so this point is no new to you and one thing i left it because i wanted to talk to you in the last the most important formula and from this arithmetic mean 80 percent questions are asked from this formula itself that is if a b c are in ap then 2b is equal to a plus c actually you can derive this from uh, the typical normal formula itself You know, B, sorry, B is equal to A plus C by 2. So, if we send this to this side, we will getting 2B is equal to A plus C, right? So, this, this formula is very important for you. I will give you an example for that also. If P minus 1, P plus 3 and 3P minus 1 in R mean A, P, then P is equal to How? How can we use, how can we know what is the value of P? We can use 2B is equal to A plus C and we will get it. I will tell you how. Here, we will write those terms first. P minus 1, P plus 3, 3P minus 1. P minus 1, P plus 3. 3p minus 1. Here, let's consider this as b, this as a, this as c. Then we'll get 2 into p plus 3 is equal to p minus 1 plus 3p minus 1, right? Now, if we simplify this, 2p plus 6 is equal to see I multiplied 2 inside 2 into p 2p 2 into 3 6 here 
and p minus one plus three p minus one minus one minus one minus two p plus three p four p four p minus two. If I send two this this side and two p this side, we'll get it. Two p is equal to eight. P is equal to four, right? I send two this side. P is equal to four. So using this formula, we found out the value of p. So there will be many problems like this which will be asked, and uh, if you know the basic formula, two b is equal to a plus c, and uh, similarly for uh, if there are three terms in AP, then we have another formula, but you can just derive it, right? That is, we know that uh, if three terms like a B, C, sorry, four terms are in AP. Then C. If three terms are in AP, A, B, C, then its arithmetic mean is. So I wrote. Why did I write D? Sorry. Three terms A, B, C are in AP. Then its arithmetic mean is A plus B plus C by three, right? B is equal to A plus B plus C by three. So we can just three B is equal to A plus B plus C. So we can even use this formula if there are three terms. In f if there are four terms, you can write this a plus b plus c plus d by four. Then, not only if there are three terms, you can use it anywhere if there are n number of terms. So today's assignment, I will post it in the description. Please check it out, and I hope you are liking this new IIT Maths concept course. And I'll be uploading more videos in the future. So thank you all for today, and. Please subscribe to Chennai Maths Classes for more such informative videos. Thank you.